my brother Nate and me were raised by wolves. I became one, but my brother did not. And that worried me because I was his older brother and I had to take care of him. I had to protect him, I had to teach him, that was my job. So I would say to him that the only way to get through life is to be violent and unyielding, and I would tell him that with a lacerated face and broken hands, just to prove it. And he would nod, and he would show me up and wrap my hands. And when I would rant about how life will fuck you and tear you down, and steal from you. He would not, and he would wipe away my tears. And when he would find me on the floor with my body shot full of dope, because sometimes I don't believe a fucking word I'm saying, he would not call me a fraud. He would pick me up and he'd put me into bed and he would say, Jay, I got you. It's all right. Nate was kind, he was courageous, he was brave, he was loyal, he was unrelenting. And he was an absolute savage in this cage. My brother was also gay, which I think a lot of you knew. So if you have a fucking problem with that, I think you should stand up right now and speak. Wow. No? A lot of chicken shit motherfuckers in here. Fuck you. You are not allowed to whisper anymore. For all of you who talk shit, who made my brother's walls around him rise up, fuck you. Stand up. Step into this fucking light. And then sit the fuck down because he still would whoop your ass. Well, let's do this. No silence, please. Thank you.